Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. All right, today we're going to be showing you how to replace your kitchen sink basket or strainer. Uh, as you can see, this one's missing all the chrome from the inside. Uh, it has no stopper, so they can't stop the water. Uh, it's also leaking down below, so we're going to replace it with a new one. We have our Dearborn and Brass stainless steel one here. We have the pop-up that goes with it. It's the snap tight style. Uh, we have our plumber's putty. We also have a pair of channel locks. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is grab our channel locks, loosen and remove this nut. We're also going to loosen the nut right here on the back side of the trap. That way we can swing the trap and the extension out of the way. Uh, you could remove it if you wanted to, and you're just going to need a bucket to catch the trap water. Uh, we're just going to swing it out of the way. All right, so now that we have the trap swung out of the way, we want to grab our channel locks and remove this nut right here. Uh, if it's stubborn and doesn't want to come off, you may want to use a hacksaw or sometimes the DeWalt cutting wheel works real nice. Cut it on an angle and then use a flat screwdriver to split the ring apart. Now that we have that nut removed, we should be able to lift the basket up and out. So once you remove the old basket, you want to clean this area here is where the new plumber's putty is going to seal. So we'll just take some paper towel and clean off all the old plumber's putty. Next, we'll remove the brass nut off the new kitchen strainer so we can separate the pieces out. You'll first remove the metal lower half of the basket, then you'll have a paper ring, and then you'll have the rubber gasket part. So we'll separate all that out and set it aside. Next, we'll open our plumber's putty. We'll get a small amount out. We'll set it on the counter. We'll use our fingers to roll it back and forth on the countertop to make a nice little string of rope. Uh, we want the diameter to be a little bit less than a dime. Once we have the desired diameter, we'll go ahead and apply it to our sink basket. Now that we have the plumber's putty on the sink basket, we'll go ahead and use our thumbs, go all the way around, pushing the plumber's putty up against the sink basket. Now that we have the plumber's putty pushed up against the sink basket, we'll go ahead and sit the sink basket inside the sink. We'll center it and push it down. Next, we'll come back underneath. We'll slide on the rubber gasket, the paper gasket, and then the lower half of the sink basket. Once we have that on, we'll slide on our brass nut and tighten it down by hand. While snugging it down, you want to have one hand hold the threaded part and one hand turn the nut. That way you don't spin the basket in the sink. Now that we have the brass nut hand tight, we'll go ahead and grab a pair of pliers or channel locks and we'll tighten it down the rest of the way. Now that we have the brass nut tight, we're going to swing the trap back into position. We're also going to replace the top half gasket with a new one. We'll slide the nut up and thread it onto our basket and run it down hand tight. We'll check the rest of the nuts to make sure they're hand tight. Next, we'll take a pair of channel locks or pliers and snug down all the nuts. Next, we'll come back up on top and remove the excess plumber's putty with our hand. Now that we remove the excess putty, we'll go ahead and turn the water on. We'll let it run so it goes all the way around the sink basket, and then we'll go underneath and check for any leaks. So we'll check the basket where it meets the sink, and we'll check the rest of the drain for any leaks. 
So we'll come back up top, put the sink stopper into the sink basket, turn on the water, run it a little bit, that way we can test the function of the sink stopper to make sure it's functioning properly. So once you finish testing the sink stopper to make sure it holds water, uh, that's it. We just showed you how to replace the kitchen basket or strainer in your kitchen sink. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuide.net. If you just finished building you the subscribe button, click that to get our latest DIY fixes delivered right to you. If you just finished building you the What's Next button, you can click that and we'll help you figure out what you want to fix next. You can also click the link in the description which takes you to our website for a full write-up.